Good afternoon, uh, everybody. I am Dr. Satish Chandra Mishra. I am the principal director of uh, interventional cardiology of uh, Venkateshwar Hospital. Uh, it's my pleasure to introduce a very interesting patient uh, uh, from overseas. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Abdi Fateh, uh, who is 41 years of age, who had presented to us uh, on 28th of May with complaints of easy fatigability, angina on exertion and breathlessness. The symptoms were so incapacitating that it was affecting his day-to-day -day life and it was hampering his local work. Uh, I have with me uh, in my team uh, Dr. Kumud Kumar Singh who is an interventional cardiologist. Uh, Dr. Kumud, I would request you to please uh, enumerate the reasons why Mr. Abdi Fateh was presenting with this. What were the risk factors he was suffering with? Yes, sir. So the patient had risk factors like uh, diabetes and he was known smoker although he left smoking five years back uh, and he was also having uh, dyslipidemia. So all three risk factors can contribute to coronary artery disease and probably he was suffering from the same. So thank you very much. So after uh, you have understood that this gentleman had risk factors of uh, diabetes, smoking and dyslipidemia, we took him up for angiography and uh, you know, after general evaluation of other tests, the angiography was done. And now I request Dr. Kumut to again tell us what were the findings in angiography. So we did an angiography through, through right femoral root and uh, the findings were as follows. The LMCA was normal and the patient had triple vessel disease. Uh, the LED was uh, uh, very thinned out vessel and uh, long diffuse lesion was there in LED. And uh, circumflex was non-dominant. and. Uh, the RCA was 100% occluded uh, very much from the proximal segment and we tried to uh, you know, uh, do angioplasty of RCA but we could not succeed because of the long uh, long segment CTO and probably uh, the it was calcified heart vessel so we could not succeed in the angioplasty of that vessel but we then uh, did the angioplasty of LED and two stents were deployed in the LED and uh, Subsequently, the patient uh, has improvements in, in his symptoms. Yeah. So, uh, fortunately, the uh, angioplasty of LAD, which was, uh, uh, you know, which was done with two stents, yielded a very good result. We uh, obtained a TME 3 flow in his uh, coronaries. Uh, the more important thing to know is that his coronaries uh, were diffusely diseased and his ejection fraction, the capacity of the heart function was so poor that it was only about 20 to 25 percent was the ejection fraction of heart. So in a setting of this nature, we, uh, were, uh, we were presented with a coronary which was long, diffused and very difficult uh, angioplasty. But then he succeeded uh, in getting a good, very good result. Post result, post angioplasty, when he was discharged, we were surprised and very happy to see that he became totally symptom free and uh, he is able to move around with the, without any problem. He maintains a blood pressure about of 110 by about 70, 80 with all medications. I would now like to request uh, Mr. Abdi Fateh to let us know how was he feeling earlier and how is he feeling now and let our uh, friends know about your condition okay okay doctor um <laughs> before i was not feeling well hard breathing uh, i could not move i could not uh, take something from outside uh, but now i'm feeling much better than before much 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 better thank you for my doctor uh, i will take i will say Thank you, thank you, thank you more. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. So it's very important for us to know that in coronary artery disease, the risk factors have a very, very important role to play. It's important to control diabetes. It's important to, uh, to stop smoking. And it's important to control the cholesterol levels. Mm -hmm. And it is better to uh, report and get evaluated well in time. It is possible to treat these kind of cases. And a patient can... Uh, become once again symptom free and can lead a normal life.
thank you very much for your uh, patient hearing uh, we would be delighted to uh, help many more patients in this hospital which has got the necessary wherewithal to handle these kind of cases thank you very much thank you